Well, uh, salutations, Chris. That's that's not me. But my homeboy low end sent me a little uh, bass goodie, and we're gonna actually check it out today. Um, he told me what the name of it was. It's called a Squire Paranormal Jazz. Uh, this is a new little ditty from Fender Squire, and we're gonna check it out today. I haven't uh, put my hands on it as of yet, but we're gonna check it out and see what it's all about. So uh, without further ado, this is the box. And uh, find me something to cut it with, and then we'll get into this situation. What's the best way to attack this? It's not working. Mm. Mm. So, uh, Lowen sent me this bass, and uh, he, he kind of boasted and bragged about how cool it is, how different it is from uh, other jazz basses I've messed with. And uh, you're going to see it first time as I am. So, here we go. It's a four string. Ooh, I like the color. That is different. Okay, so it's a C shaped neck. Uh, there's four knobs on it. They're stacked on top of each other. You can check those out here. This is what it looks like. Okay, go up to the headstock here. Traditional square shape. This is a passive base. There's no battery in it. And um, yeah, so me doing a little research. These are uh, Fender designed Al Nico pickups. And the control is for the uh, neck pickup. Here you go. This is a volume and a tone, and on the bridge pickup, volume and tone. So independent controls, uh, pretty standard looking bridge. Uh, the fret ends are rounded out nice. Um, looks solid. It has a lacquer neck on it. So, uh, so if you like that, that's dope. I don't really care either way. And uh, you can kind of see the uh, wood grain through the paint. I don't know if that's going to show through or not, but it looks pretty cool if you're up close on it. And uh, it's pretty nice. So, let's uh, let's do it and then uh, see what's going on with it. So, here we go. Alright. And headphones. Alright. Volume down, volume down. Go. So I'm gonna go uh, tone out on the first go round, and then I'll do tone in. Let's do the neck pickup first. nice throaty sound um, cool let's go ahead and dial in this tone see what it does Let's go ahead and move to the bridge pickup and then uh, see what that's talking about. Mm-hmm. 
actually sounds good and the tone wasn't even in the thing so let's roll this tone on and see where we at <laughs> with the volumes and stuff like that because I think I just distorted a little bit and I'm gonna blow y'all headphones out so uh, I'm gonna go let's go ahead and go to slap because you know how much I like slap so let's go ahead and get in there and uh, we're gonna start with the neck pickup and tone is gonna be all the way out and then this is what we got Let's go to the bridge, see what it's talking about. Tone off. type of riff that's the same ish so let's see volume together because it is hot these pickups are hot uh so yeah jump cut to so that I could adjust my output on my uh, interface so I can go full volume to see what these things really got right 
So I'm gonna do a few more grooves and we're gonna see what's going on with this bass at full volume, full tone, all that good stuff. So here we go. Now, full volume from just tweedling towards volume two and three with my interface and stuff, you can really hear a difference between all the sounds and stuff. More articulation is there. Um, there's more burpiness, there's more, it's just more active. <laughs> is just there and that's really nice um, this is this is a really nice base from what I understand you can get this base uh, for $3.99 brand new which is really nice consider all things considered there are it's it's in league as far as craftsmanship with a lot of other bases that are out there that you can buy um, it feels pretty good and y'all if y'all watch this channel y'all know how I feel about Fender as a whole uh, but this actually has pretty good value like I will put this above the vintage modified pretty easy actually um, only thing that the vintage has over this is the fact that it's a five string and uh, this is a four and I'm a five string player so I'm kind of skewed but the slap tone you know I love slap tone so just dialing it in which is basically cranking everything all the way up uh, let's go uh, it is a jazz bass so you do have that single um, that single pickup hum but that's that goes with every jazz bass if you didn't like it then you can swap it out for some noiseless pickups and then you'll be good to solo on one without hearing all that stuff or just turn the tone out of one when you do it in the Celeste but all things considered it's a pretty nice bass and uh, I didn't mean to color coordinate it's close and that's pretty cool so yeah, uh, I just wanted to add in this extra little piece so y'all can get just a little bit more of it. And uh, I'm cool with this now. So, thank you, Low and Lobster. I appreciate it. Uh, again, or for the first time because I chopped out a piece. 
this is Alan Brown, aka Bully the Kid. New content coming soon. I got a lot more stuff that I'm cooking up, doing verses. I'm gonna do a whole video of all of my bases, maybe break it up in a three-part series, and uh, y'all be on the lookout for that. So if you don't know what to buy, and you're kind of getting your feet wet in the base world, and you want to know what I got and why I have it, I'll give you a breakdown as to why I got it and how they sound. So till then, y'all be easy. Peace.